So um, there's an apology from Brian and Pat Hall, who um, very close. They were there when I was commissioned um, as assistant pastor, great friends. There's an apology from Shane Merrick, who's um, a heavy hitter from Sydney, who who is oh, always yeah. giving me, oh, from OM, OM. O- Operation Mobilization. Mm. Yeah, he's a... Mm. Just, um, but other than that, that's there's a couple in there's people in Germany and Finland who I haven't heard from and South Africa, but that's okay. Mm, mm. So maybe, um, Robin, can I ask you to pray just before we start, please? Yeah, yeah, thank you, <laughs> <clears throat> Father. We just thank you that you're always with us, and as we come together from all different parts of the world. Uh, we just thank you that your presence is with us wherever we are. Uh, I just thank you for the way that you're moving across the earth today, uh, the miracles we're hearing of, the yes. wonderful stories. Lord, we just give you thanks. And we thank you for today, for the things that you've enabled us to do that we didn't think we could do. And uh, thank you for strength for tomorrow, Lord. Thank you for the blessings that you give us day by day. And thank you for the oneness that you bring as we meet together in this way through the blessing of technology. Being Mm. able to see each other and hear each other Mm. uh, is just such a blessing, Lord. So we praise and thank you, Father. You truly are the God of all things and you work all things together for good. We thank you for Angus and Christine. Thank you for what you're doing in their lives, Lord. And thank you that we can be part of what you have planned for the future. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Robin. Um, And Lord, we do just pray that your will will be done as as we meet today. Um, so while I'm videoing this, it is still confidential, please. Like, um, I understand you guys are intercessors, which means I have to be frank with you about the future and listen to God through you because uh, you crack up the road ahead. And um, so while we're navigating, I, I need you to go ahead and help navigate. So it's not really public yet um, at all. Um, so I'd really like you not to share this um just be really just between you and god um so if that's okay <laughs> so um yeah we came four years ago to to Corio and um with a calling to to sort of reach out to the um the local people and uh, the poor here and the lost we we uh got an excerpt from the very first um <clears throat> blog post we did which is quite uh, quite cool, actually. I'll just get it up on the screen to show you because it's just one little paragraph, which sort of does. Um, where is it? Funny, isn't it? When you when you want to find something, you can't always find it. Um, does show you that our heart's been for outreach to the. To let me just see if I can find this. Um, sorry about the glitch. Um, that, that's it. Yeah. So. If you can see on your screen, this is from the 28th of April, 2019. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Right. There's us all in love. Christine's curly hair. <laughs> daddy, daddy, da. And then it says here, is it a church? And it says, um, churches attract Christians, but Jesus called sinners to repentance. Uh, we don't want to create a church, but a hospital for the soul where people come to be healed and born again. And Christians come to serve the needy. We believe it is time to experiment with different forms of church, time to reinvent mission, outreach and service. We feel yes. a need where people come to be healed, not to be comfortable. Yes. <laughs> so the cool thing is that that's a, um, a vision that stayed with us. And it, today is part of that vision continuing to, um, to grow. Obviously, I've been assistant pastor at Bethel Christian Fellowship here in Corio for uh, two years now. Um, and that's been part of the 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 serving and learning and integrating into the the um, the neighbourhood. And I've got a I have a good prayer uh, discipline in my life. I go out to Avalon Beach three or four times a week with my two hounds and and seek the Lord. Mm-hmm. And that's really the engine room of of everything. And I'm thrilled that we've been able to really excel in outreach. I think do a lot of of incredible 
different stuff with a cr different crews. Um, so um, that's been an amazing thing. And and some of my closest friends like Robin and Eric can, have said there's changes coming at the end of last year. Uh, at that time, this is only a few weeks ago, I was taking more responsibility for the building in, in Hinton Cryo, the church building, and um, organising painting and carpeting and whatnot. And then out of the blue comes this guy called Conrad Parsons. Uh, now, Conrad, I'll just sh show you his um, his website. He's actually the CEO of this thing called Global Evangelists, which is pretty pretty big title. There he is there. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. This is yes. Conrad here. He rocked up. Yep. At, he said, can I meet you? And um, look at those words, I locate, validate, validate and activate okay. gifted evangelists in their vocational context. Wow. And, wow. And, yeah. yeah. And what, I thought, what a statement. Can we wow. be friends? But, but the thing is that he actually works for CVAT. <laughs> now, CVAT are the people who own the building. I'll just show you there. Um, I'm just going to share with you a thing. Oops, that didn't work. Um, See that stands for Christian Community Churches, Victoria and Tasmania. That's see that there. So this is their website. They own the building in Cryo. They're, they're from the Brethren background. They own about 70 buildings in Victoria and Tasmania. And this guy, David Wright, who um, is the director of uh, see that, um he, he I, I know him a little bit and uh and because i've been working with him and this guy called paul gould can you guys see that mm -hmm. yeah and you can see if, as i scroll down you'll see that um that this guy conrad parsons actually works for them so i was quite amazed oh. when he rocked up and he said to me we want to we want to support you and um we we love outreach and we love um we love what you're doing uh, <laughs> So I sent you an in, a prayer request on the 8th of February saying, hey, could you pray? Because they want to support us um, and pay wages. And, and it was funny because I've been telling my closest friends that I want to employ people this year just as a, as a challenge. Like, let's grow what we're doing. I want to employ people. And, and I was just amazed that this guy comes and goes and he says, well, just write it in the plan. <laughs> just write it in the application. <laughs> so anyway... Um, We've been in a very special season of, of praying and reflecting and fasting. And and uh, I want to play you two short excerpts of a video from my conversation with David Wright, who's the director of that group. So, oh, sorry, you'll be able to see him about uh, in a sec. Hi, John. Welcome aboard. Hi. Here it is Hi, here. Everyone. What? Okay. So can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so yes. David Wright is the handsome one. <laughs> and ah. I'm the one with the great big bridge behind me. I'm just going to play two short excerpts, which give you a sense of our conversation. This conversation I will yes. send out at the end of the month. So let's listen up. The people who you're reaching, because you're evangelizing a church into existence, mm -hmm. they determine how you do church. Mm -hmm. They actually, it, it becomes uniquely special for them in their cultural context. And that's what so can I just ask, can you hear that? Yes. Yeah. I'll just go back and take because it's 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 really music to my ears, this stuff. It's like, really? So the people who you're reaching, because you're evangelizing a church into existence, mm. they determine how you do church. Mm. They it, and it becomes uniquely special for them in their cultural context. And that's what Paul was talk, talking about when he gave that little speech little homily on mission really is to go and create churches that are appropriate for the people that you're trying to reach mm -hmm. not a prescribed model so um when we are hoping that we can utilize resources that we've got let's say like the facility we've got in the cryo um we're praying that god will lead us to the people who already Called to that, were, yeah. So we haven't been, we hadn't been able to find that in Cryo. And yeah. One of the things I think we found with with Bethel was that they had they, they had a different focus than us. Mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. 
Uh, we said, well, we have all these young families. Can you be young family? Well, no, it's not really us. Well, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Just it was misalignment. And I think, I think it was wise that we didn't move ahead with that yeah. partnership because there was misalignment with what, with what we believe God has called us to do. So, so I, uh, Conrad comes on our team. He now has taken a lion's share of responsibility of, of looking after our church plants and trying to find others. Yeah. And so I said, we've got to do something for <laughs> So Conrad turns up, finds you, I think, at the right moment. Yeah. And so what we're looking to do is to actually validate you and your calling and support you in your calling. Yeah. It, it might mean it might mean fun. We've got we've got a funding agency that says we want you to do more of what you do. We'd love to find you in church plans. Yeah. If it's the right model, we'll get on board with you. Yeah. So there could be some funding. Um but we we believe that that um, God seems to be bringing us together and yeah. and at a at a right moment for both of us, I think. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Amen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So hi, hi John for joining us. So that's the first little excerpt I wanted to play, which um, shows you the, how the relationship started from their perspective. They have a real need to fund more startups, they call it. They want to fund pioneering church plants or evangelistic endeavors, um, which is just incredible. And I said to the Conrad, is it hard? Do you know, do you, is it hard? And he goes, no, nah, we, we're finding them. But um, the thing is that it's there in cryo, which is which which we mm. called, and and I know them already. So if we mm. play one more excerpt because there's another excerpt which which is quite quite good, and then we'll just open it up for questions because I'm sure um, that'll be important to to sort of um, be able to discuss some of this stuff, what it all means. Let me just find the right spot. I got it all ready earlier, as you can imagine. Here we go. Um, okay. Um, so maybe that's a natural thing that's flying already. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You'd expect that. The other thing that just amazes me about Conrad's meeting with me was that I decided to stay here in 3214. I think that's where I'm called to be, to serve the community. And um, that building is perfect <laughs> like, um, for growing ministry like it's it's right there at the bus stop it's on a it's fairly busy road it's and i'm just thinking uh, you know if it's a funny to think to say but you think why see that if there was and if the answer for me is not just because of the building but it's also there's no other group i'd like to work with like i know you i know paul gould we've we've i've seen your metal over the years i know you're your daughter, your son-in-law, you know, and it's just quite a remarkable thing for me to look at at what's happening and go, wow, because that building is not really being used during the week. Very no, much. no. But the other thing about that building is it's right in the centre of a lot of family activity, isn't it? Right next to the next yeah. to the new childcare centre and the school, yeah, yeah. and and it's just. We need the light in the darkness, and mm. and it doesn't need to be on a Sunday. It, you know, right. um, Angus, I think um, your role, your calling, and all of this is to is to keep coming up with all these ideas and to see them happen. And yep. one of the elements that you would look after is the faith community element. But right. I would think you hand that to somebody else and say, "Yeah, look after faith community. I'm going to do this. Well, we're actually going to get a book." Okay. All right. So um, just that last comment for me is really critical that um, I'm not really the pastor type. I think I'm more, I think the Lord wants me to stay uh, with an entrepreneurial uh, activity in terms of tracking down and activating crazy ideas that, that sort of haven't been done before for outreach. And um, um, so one of the, yeah, and then let, um, uh, a faith community, if you like, um, grow from there with with people who are a bit more pastorally orientated. Um, so we've sort of decided to go the next step with these guys to to incorporate and to have a board and to um, go go forward. And I wanted you to to know um, because of 
you know, our special relationship um, and to support us to with prayer. Um, so this would be a good jumping off point if you if you don't want to. But if it is, you need to know where, where, why and what and how. And I'm open to questions now um, before we switch to Christine's and cra crazy news. So please, just any comments or questions or prophetic I tend to agree with... Um... What that fellow was saying in the, in the video, I see you guys as more apostolic than pastoral. Yeah. And and the word apostolic's been coming to me this week for for you. Yeah. Um. And an apostle is one that is sent out. God gives him vision. He sends out. He establishes. But then he brings in a team around. You know, the mm. fivefold apostle, yeah. which you are, mm. uh, prophet, evangelist, pastors, and teachers. Mm. So yeah, definitely. Um. In thinking and praying this week, uh, yeah. Apostle came to me. They're just crisps, mm. Thank you, uh, Richard. Uh, mm. I really confirm that, and I think it's nice to sort of say that clearly, isn't it? It's a funny, funny thing, but it's true when you when you just look at what's been happening and who who, who I am and stuff and, and stuff. So absolutely, yeah. and it's not that we chase labels or anything like that. It is just the God given anointing. That yeah. you guys have, and it's definitely apostolic. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. And I just see, having been with you, Angus, pretty well from the beginning of this, that uh, this is the change that God spoke about mm. last year. But one of the things that came up at our meeting um, earlier this year was uh, that God was building on a strong foundation and uh, that you were not afraid to go ahead because you knew that the foundation was strong and uh, I just believe that uh, God sent you out into the marketplace which yeah. is where Jesus went and yeah. where Jesus did all his work and yeah. I believe that's where God's uh, going to use you in the future and I just see this as being an open door that no man can shut Thank you, Robin. I've been reflecting on that from uh, you from that meeting, uh, and I've been thinking about what is the strong foundation. And yeah. uh, in some ways, it's there's not much strength, but in other ways, you look at it and you think we, we've spent the last four years building um, friendships of 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 sort of catalytic evangelistic friendships in our community, yeah. a team, um, pop up church, tree planting, kids club. People. changing people's lives and, and it's just yeah it's a habit it's a culture yeah. we've yeah. got a good prayer team we've got you know it, uh, the open door on the radio so it's mm. ready to that's the foundation it's a cultural spiritual lifestyle sort of foundation um so yeah uh, it's um very blessed robin thank mm. you for saying mm. that mm. if i may angus and this is um yes a real encouragement for you guys go forward um we believed as you know um what you're doing is 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 the right way forward i just want to step back um you commented on the uh, perfectness of the building uh, you know the, the, the bethel building as such um when john and i first went there what 10 11 years ago god gave us a scripture it's time to break up the fallow ground. Mm. And, mm. <laughs> you know, a, a lot of prayer, a lot of spiritual digging went on. Mm. But approximately oh, two years before, a year to two years before we left Bethel or before Doug left, we were in a prayer meeting. Um, it's a group of about eight or ten of us. We met every week to pray. And on this particular night, God gave me a vision of Jesus walking from the traffic lights up to where the police station is, coming down the centre of the road to Bethel, leading a whole swag of people wow. behind him oh, wow. and coming to the Bethel wow. entryway there. And I just believe that this is the season that, um God's going to start releasing that mm. into mm. Cario. Yes. Okay. Wow. Wow. Very encouraging, isn't it? Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Let 
Can I ask something, um, please? Yeah. So, um, thinking about um, our Christian lives and um, the journey that we're on once we start following Jesus, mm -hmm. um, we know that Paul in particular, writing to the churches, spoke to some of them um, quite directly about the need for our um, spiritual growth mm -hmm. um, that he that God wanted us to to grow in in maturity um, Paul used such amazing language about running the race mm -hmm. you know that you're not standing still you're um, that the life with Jesus is this glorious adventure that you're moving um, and it's it's always got that forward momentum. We're becoming more like Jesus. There's so many different um, descriptions given to that and that um, as his church, we ha I believe we have a responsibility to each other to encourage each other to, to do that, mm -hmm. to, to, um, to grow um, in love of, of God and um, grow in our eagerness to follow Jesus. And therefore the evangelism, if you like, of giving the good news never stops. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you mean by saying that you're not pastoral? Because I see you as a very caring person who is intensely concerned and compassionate about people's um, walk with Jesus, willing to to offer the opportunity to chat or, if you know us well enough, to challenge us, which is great. Mm -hmm. So um, I just wanted to know more about that side of it for you um, because, just to be a bit blunt, um, I think that God's plan is his people in um, um, building his kingdom and that is the church I don't think there's he has no other plan so if you're preaching the gospel then what you're doing is church mm -hmm. you know by definition almost mm -hmm. so I just wanted to know more about what you meant by sort of that particular comment about um, not being a pastor what do you the, mean the the simplest thing is wanting to organise events um, all the time for the unchurched, and that's my skill set. So whether it's a, a pop up yep. church or a tree planting event, there's that, that's what I dream about, and that's what I is a very special, unique skill set. The actual nitty gritty of sitting with somebody and helping them through. The, challenges of their life, their day, their their beliefs freaks me out a bit. Um, and I've some of my Christian background, I've been more involved in that type of behaviour, particularly through, yeah. the, through the vineyard, particularly like praying with people intimately and into home group where I met Richard, uh, mm -hmm. the other Richard, <laughs> Richard. Um, we 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 spent a lot of time um, with people on an intimate level with their daily lives, but I suppose Jane, just my life here in in and, and the mission, I've been way more involved in creating events that involve you know 30, 40, 50 people, and that's where all the pastoral sort of stuff takes place. And I I get involved in that, but it. Yeah, my main thing is to sort of host and nurture events where evangelists come and pastor people come and love on the neighbours, as we say. <laughs> um, I hope that answers your question, Jane. Um, I and per personally, uh, I do have some challenges about being very kind of kind all the time. Like I sometimes do get <laughs> choppy, and um, and that's something I'm trying to work on. But, um, yeah, I hope that answers your question. It does. Say, Thank you. That, oh, can I just yeah. quickly say that that answers the question about what you meant by that? Mm -hmm. And then I suppose 
the next question then is then how how will you if you're taking a lead then how are you going to um help these people become part of the church and to grow in their faith yeah well that that's interestingly a question that i dodge because um i don't see it as my job um i, I think it's the second stage and this is what i was saying to david right on that video like i'm saying look I, I want to interface people with with the people of God. So interface the public with the church in a way that's fun and positive and engaging and honest and supportive. And then God will do it, Jane. So right here in this meeting, there are, yeah. there are people who come out on the field with me who are better at that than me. <laughs> and that's what happens. The yeah. Lord provides people who are happy to get under the bonnet with the locals. Yeah. Mm. Um, and that's what we're relying on, Jane, that that as I mm -hmm. spearhead these events and, and concepts, that the Lord will provide people to bring more of a church experience that's, that's not an outreach experience. It's the next step. And I think that's come through, um, particularly this conversation right now, as a revelation over this period of time that... Um, and despite that, Christine and I would love to have a home group here and to yeah. be really, because it's so satisfying to pray for the local yeah. and be friends and actually nurture each other. It's yes. and so the Lord will provide that to us again, um, I'm sure, because it's just the most blessed mm -hmm. thing. And if we look on our Christian lives, I bet you we can all say the lion's share of our growth came through small groups. Mm. Amen. One on one. Mm. How was that thing we prayed about last week? Oh, the mm. Lord changed it. Mm. You know, and that joy of seeing um, the discipling growing. Uh, yeah. I, I was blessed mm. to be with a guy called Kevin Smith. Uh, he, I was in his home group. So that's where it all started for me. But mm. so, yeah. Yeah. For me, it's interesting. This conversation underlies that I have to be responsible in my heart and in prayer for that part mm. of the the, mm. the ministry mm. if you like so it doesn't necessarily do mean doing it which is something i'm learning how to do mm. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. try to build mm. up other people resource them mm. empower them if, yeah. to mm. to do it and just put it as a priority sorry i just want to from my point of view i'm in bethel so that people know How's it going to fit in with Bethel? I know this is kept very quiet and you said to keep it, um, yeah. but you're an assistant pastor in Bethel. Yeah. So how is this all going to work? Well, um, I'm glad this has come up. Um, mm. So the um, while this is a big meeting and we're using all these big words and everything, the fact of the matter is that there's a lot of grind ahead. So I'm going to be incorporating mm -hmm. Little Miracles and doing all this paperwork, getting a board. And if any of you would love to be on the board, uh, let me know um, because I need a couple more members to found. Uh, once we've, you know, so I'll be praying for a board. I'll be, and then the short answer is that the very next few actions as Little Miracles will be the same as we've done before, pop-up church, tree planting. Yeah, yeah. And I'd like to start a, a bus stop ministry at, the, the building, uh, Sandra, at Cariah Christian Centre, which is yep. um, a very low impact event. So so my life won't change much at all and my commitment to Bethel won't change at all. So I can just mm. chug along doing all the background work. I do a lot of background work for Bethel administration of all different kinds, mainly, you know, for yep. lots and lots and lots of little things. Um, and that can continue because this, this, while it's an important shift we're talking about today, it, nothing much will change from the outside. It's just going to bear fruit down the track. Mm. Having, having um, these guys in my life, Conrad and David, who will be my, I'll report directly to them now. Mm. They're passionate about outreach. They're passionate about church planting. So that'll give me a bit more lead in my pencil in that sense. Mm. But, really getting my back on that in progress. Um, yes, 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 yes. something's happened to your machine you got two winnies now i'll get oh there we go <laughs> winnie can you hear us sorry 
So we might yeah. does that answer your question enough, Sandra? So the short answer um, is that it won't really change. Yeah. But things are um yeah, always changing. So um yeah. But Mike, I'm committed to help Paul. Paul Hills, the pastor at Bethel Christian Fellowship, has certainly been let down a lot by by people, and I'm just not going to do that. I want to make sure that um, I can be uh, as good an assistant pastor as he's ever going to get. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Mm. We're gonna I just, yeah, I just felt I had a word that before I go, because I've got a little um, granddaughter here. Um, I just felt the Lord was saying, you may have to make some decisions down the track that you didn't want to have to make. But mm. remember, God will give you the grace to make those decisions. Mm. Amen. Mm. I agree, yeah. Sandra. Um, yeah. Yeah. Angus, could I just ask a question and it's sort of pursuant to where this discussion is all at at the moment. Uh, on yes. your outreaches of whatever nature they are, are you seeing the same folk coming back as well as possibly new ones? So they are coming back and getting some of that um, sort of thing that we're talking about, that more ongoing teaching and mm. encouragement and support, even if at the moment there's no clear channel Structure. forward yeah, for them. Absolutely. Um, mm. And absolutely. One of the fun things about that, June, has been that it's all been about God too. Yeah. Obviously, the relationships are satisfying for them as well. But primarily, I'd say the key driver, well, one of the key drivers of, of people coming back is the spiritual feeding that's taking place, mm. both in the pop-up church and in the kids' activities we're doing. And mm. so I'm just completely blown away by that. And, blown. Mm. Yeah. and, and Christine's got a really good story about that. Because um, remember, we had a play group. Um, yeah. I'm wondering what happened to the playgroup and it, I don't know if it's a good time to segue into okay. what but I'd like to keep to our time frame if we can so it is sort of 7 45 yeah. a couple of minutes over so thanks everyone let's listen to what Chrissy's got to say they're all great questions that everyone's asking and Angus has been recording and writing down those bits and things of the words that you've asked and challenged us with thank you yeah, yeah. I um I just want to share a little bit of Okay, bye. If someone's Sandra. got to go, bye, bye, bye Sandra. Sandra. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Um, just a little bit of where where I what I've been doing is I no longer work in prison and I no longer work for the Australian Bureau of Statistics as I have done in the last few years. I now I've been doing an Airbnb, um, uh, our own one, and it's just a small two bedroom one here in Geelong. And I've called in different people to come and help me. And the different people have been neighbours, single mothers from around here. They've been mothers from playgroup, hence what Angus was saying about playgroup. And the mothers from playgroup, Indonesian, Chinese, um, Korean refugee from Myanmar. Um, and the single mother, because she wants a bit more cash. So I just say, well, why don't you come and help me clean and you can get some cash along the way. And in the process, this single mother that I've had sporadic contact with, I've been able to have ongoing weekly contact with and hearing about her teenage boy who's been getting violent, incredibly violent, and even um, the government's been pulled in to kind of look help with her because they've got a three-year-old, a two-year-old as well. Um, and so I've been able to say to her, I've been praying for you and things like that. And, and so to help her with that. Um, and um, and then she's actually opened up to another single mother, another neighbour, single mother who'd like to come and who has come once. But I'm not sure, is she trustworthy? Is she reliable? I don't know. We'll soon see. But it's another, again, as I'm in the car and we're driving along, 20 minutes drive, I hear about the story of her sister who's recently mm. been murdered by her violent mm. partner. Jeez. So these are the kind of women that I'm coming in contact with and learning about and working with and being able to provide an opportunity for them to get some cash by some good or hard labour of working, cleaning, not just average, but a five-star Airbnb kind of mm. cleaning. Yeah. And then along with that, um, the playgroup mothers, Indonesian mother who's Muslim by background. She's um, got a good friend with a young Chinese mother and those two families do things together. 
but both of them have come and involved and have cleaned our little Airbnb. And also this Karen refugee, um, very limited English, and she needed some training even in basic cleaning. And I have since come across a group in Bendigo from the Baptist Church that is actually training Karen people for cleaning. And I'm going to go oh. down to Bendigo on Thursday and talk to them and further because they they call it a social enterprise by the Baptist Church in mm. reaching out to the Korean community. Maybe that's why I should go. I don't know. Question mark. I'm mm. going to just ask about that. because um, And in the process of all this, because I've got a team of people, I've actually put my hand up and now I've got three Airbnbs I'm cleaning. Mm. Our one plus two others. Mm. So, but that's mm. bringing in these people to come in, come and mm. work with me, come learn with me. Come mm. And um, so I just need to wisdom on that one, wisdom with the people. And also just how I can kind of pray into this space with them, maybe pray with them in the, the have the courage to do just that. Um, and whether the social enterprise with the Korean because the Korean lady with her limited English, she says, oh, yes, I've got more people. If you want more people, I've got more people. Mm. And with mm. my ESL background, I go, yeah, but but mm. I don't want a good idea. I want God idea. Mm. Mm. So whether to do that and or whatever. But there's quite a significant group of Korean here in Korea. And uh, quite a few of them, we came in contact with about 20 of them in the play group. And a lot of them have been here eight years, but have this much English. So it's mm. an opportunity to actually upskill them. And even though she's got a certificate in cleaning, whatever that means, she still <laughs> needed the top, the basic thing about cleaning a toilet properly and things like that. Mm. So, mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, that, and then I've just added on, if I, in case I didn't have enough work to do, I started volunteering as a classroom assistant in a local primary school. Andrew Dowling, mm. so, but I think I might let that one go because this um, cleaning thing is starting to take off and mm. escalate. Yeah, it's interesting. God gave me that word enterprise last last uh, uh, Friday when we prayed together. Oh. I said to Angus, I think this is an enterprise, and I noticed in your letter you'd called it Kingdom Enterprise. Okay. Mm. 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 That's great, Christine. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions? It's open. Yeah. It's not not a question. I'd just like to make a comment. What you what you guys are doing, I think, is changing uh, mm -hmm. what the churches are going to be doing. Yes. But yes. what you're doing is actually mm. church, if you like mm. that. In that, yeah. uh, there's the outreach. But this, and, and you're using the uh, commercial side of things, but it's still outreach. Yeah. You know? And when you're with these people, it's not a case of, uh, well, how do we get the most work done? Yeah. But you're using it as a tool to be yeah. able to witness to people, to talk to them about the mm -hmm. law. Mm. And to me, mm. that is where it will, mm. where it's really going to work, where it's going to be. Mm. And that, uh, the established churches are going to be looking and going, oh, that's how it mm. should be done. Yeah. So if you're doing it, yes, mm -hmm. people will need uh, probably feeding and you know, your two guys can't do it all. Mm. But it is a growth thing and as it grows, so the Lord will bring the right people across your path to take on the roles that you need them to take on. So mm. I just want to encourage you both on that. Mm. Say, mm. uh, it just excites me what you're doing. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I want to comment because I've known Angus and Christine. Hey, since Richard. At, Angus and Christine since they were at Newman Church. Hello. Mm. And it's just, I'm so encouraged just by what you're saying and seeing how, you know, God's blessed you with the right people, divine connections. So, wow. You know, mm. think of Philippians mm. 1, 6 where, that which God started, he's going to complete. And I'm seeing that. It's, yeah. it's so evident to me. Like, well, mm. the, evidence is over, the evidence is literally overwhelming. Mm. Um, so I am so encouraged that, um, you know, like I know some of the things you mentioned to me and others, mm. when you went to Numa Church, what you wanted to do down your long way and 
you know, this, of course, Scripture says the steps of the righteous person is guided by the Lord. Mm. And so, mm. um, boy, I am so encouraged. So, um, you know, it's encouraging to me hearing these creative ideas and thinking that, hey, God's all about that. Mm. And as Jesus said, the field's wide under harvest. So, mm. um, yeah, look. Yeah, that's it. All, all, all courage to you. Um, you know, I just... It, it, <laughs> You know, Jesus, the Bible, word of God says, you, you're planted in the house, Lord, you're going to thrive. And I'm seeing mm. that thriving in your life. And this is like, mm. hey, there's so much more of it. You've just seen bits of it. There's mm. so much more of it. You know, what does the Bible is about, what it says in Ephesians 3.20, God does a measure more than we ever ask or imagine according to mm. his power that works within us. Even since when I say, even when I said the word power, I said, I think there's much more of you to tap into that. Mm. Yep, I just sense an anointed word in the power. Mm. So, um, all courage too. Look, I've got to go by about eight. Sorry about, mm. but it's been great to hear your testimony and uh, all the yeah, fantastic stuff. So encouraging, mm. it's so encouraging just to hear um, what God's doing and what He's going to do. Awesome. Amen. 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 Kiri, Kiri, you put your hand up. I did mm. indeed. Um. Love one square. Um, you can keep it on your topic if you want. Prayer request. Angus and Christine have a strong foundation, as shown by the people here who intercede for them. Amen. Love one square and any other event or thing that. Um, they take on, as in going out and evangelizing. There needs to be a firm foundation for each place. At the moment, if you took Angus out of the picture, the whole thing would fall in a heap. Mm. This is my thoughts. So then, it, prayer request, please, that a foundation will be mm. formed that wherever Angus goes, and does whatever, that there would be a group of people who would be able to stand strong in that place where their seed has been planted. Mm, mm. Yeah. Amen. They need to be mm, taught. Mm. They need to be nurtured. They need to be one in one relationship. Um, for me, at the moment, that's not that's not there for Live One Square. So please pray that a strong foundation would be built mm. there that's not going to crumble wherever. Mm. Um, Angus goes. Mm. Um, Good the, other question, the other thing is, oh, yeah, and the right people, yeah. It comes with the building a strong foundation. You know how to pray for that mm. and the people for people to come. Um, now, the, the guy from, oh gosh, what's his name? David Pace? Uh, Ray, to you. David mm. You, the last guy you were talking to, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he mentioned um, the utilisation of the building. Yeah. Um, he would like to see the building used more. Yeah. How are we going to do that? Oh, um, uh, well, I'll share something really special with you, that part of this process, um, I hope we're not stealing your thunder, so we can come back to Chrissy's one in a in minute if you have. That. But Kiri, um, the Christian Community Centre is something that um, the Lord's put on our heart. So there's a lady called Diane Spicer who I uh, caught up with recently, who 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 gave me a vision that she had of a Christian Community Centre where perhaps you're learning to sew or you're dancing or it's an after school drop in, but instead of run by the government with um, no basis of unconditional love it's run by the church where there's uh people praying for you worshiping the lord uh, uh, so kerry that's a dream that um i have and i think i'd like to just dip my toe with with an after school program called a bus stop ministry so uh, there's about 50 people outside that building every single school day and um i would like to develop a team of crazy visionary christians to mm -hmm. love them Give them icy poles, play play basketball, table tennis. Do you need some help with your homework, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and just go from there, Kiri. But it's not a um, it's not a rush. 
we've just got to go God's speed. And that's, yeah, so that answers your question. Mm. And so I was quite amazed when Conrad came into me and said, oh, would you like to join CVAD and we'll fund you? And it's like, all right, you guys are passionate about outreach and you own the building. So like, mm. it was just a funny thing because it's not from the flesh like that. I was just amazed by the the words of the Lord and people like yourselves uh, here in this group, giving me a sense of it's time to go a bit harder and, and up the effectiveness of what we do. So I hope that answers your question. I'm just wondering what the impact on that will be on uh, uh, on, Kar on, um, on Bethel Church. Yeah, okay. So at the moment, there are three churches meeting there. So there's Bethel, there's a Karen church, and there's also a church called Covenant Grace who meet on Friday night. African. Mm. So if African. I'm... Um, if I'm if I'm uh, starting to um, develop more things, I'll do it around them uh, tomorrow. So um, I'm interested in when the kids are available, which is after school, mm -hmm. uh, maybe Saturday morning. Um, but who knows? Look, Cryo is known as a graveyard of church plants. So I I think success. Is this is a small thing at this stage? It's probably my apostolic, you know, way of seeing things. I don't need a hundred people to be happy. I need five people to be happy. If I get, mm. 10, I'm ecstatic. If I get twenty, I'm ecstatic. If we can do two or three groups a week and have three or four Christian leaders come in and we're seeing people receiving the word, I'm the happiest mm. man in town. Like the, the discipleship school went for a number of years and had amazing impact. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the outreach into the um, the the, uh, the flats community mm. um, had an amazing impact. Mm. Um, but uh, being part of that meant that I could I could see that um, there's a real value in in having that. But it's a difficult marriage because you get people who have got vision like yourselves and who are out there doing stuff, and then you've got people who don't have that vision at all. Mm -hmm. and so they mm -hmm. live in this small bubble, mm -hmm. but, but both of you need each other. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. need you because mm -hmm. you are the cutting edge. You are the edge, of the real edge of faith. And I see that in the sending out of Paul and whoever mm -hmm. else was sent out. You know, the, the church there had a vision. They knew that they were sending people out and that was that was their mission. Whereas, you know, that's what you bring to the church is that that's life and breath. And that's day a really, food. really apt word, uh, Tamara. But, yeah. but also you need to be grounded in the church. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to be... Not because you can get so involved with your mission that you lose, you can you can develop a skew in your thinking. Yep. Mm. Yep. Good point. So I, th I see both needing each other. Yeah, yeah, we do need to we not cut ties, but stay grounded and yeah. and work together and come from come from Bethel yeah. in that way. And it may never be a good marriage. Yep. As in, you know, you don't may never feel like you, you know, your bosom buddies, but you actually need each other. And I think the the challenge to uh, to be together is a really good one. Yeah, yeah good point. Yeah. yeah, thanks, Tamara. Jane, Jane, you put your hand up. Yes, I did. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm on my phone, so I'm not sure how to turn. Oh, it's turned off now, the little hand. That's good. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been sort of quietly praying, and as I'm sure many of you have been while we've been listening and talking. And I, I have a, a picture in my head, um, and it fits with what Tamara's just been saying uh, um, about a cutting edge. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the if If you're in like a, 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 a jungle environment and you need to have a path forward, somebody needs to take up a machete or a panga, it's called in Swahili, and 
literally carve the way. Mm. Um, and it does take force and it need, you need to be heading in a certain direction. It's the original meaning of tra um, trailblazer. Mm. Um, and that, but the, the, the point is the, the 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 point isn't the person with the machete mm -hmm. the purpose of it is the people coming behind along that path mm -hmm. and so that's got to be kept in mind that if um the person with the machete gets too far ahead are they yeah. looking backwards and seeing that the people behind them yeah. are are on the path that god's leading them on and are they okay and um, do you need to stop for the night? Mm -hmm. And look, you know that, that idea of a um, um, pilgrimage, yeah. um, which I think we're all on. You know, Pilgrim's Progress, of course, is a um, an, a metaphor for our Christian walk, right? Our life, our journey with God, mm -hmm. and that yes, there will be people who will lead us as god leads as god leads them they all might well lead us in directions that we hadn't thought of because they're the people who've been given the vision but the purpose isn't that space that's appearing in the jungle the purpose is the people who are on that path behind you in a way and that will be the people who are who have been with you for a while and then where we know from the Bible that the um, God's plan is that in fact his people do come together the new you know new people come and join mm -hmm. and we stay together in and that where there is unity mm. then God brings you know God brings the fruit and his power and and such and that's also mm. what's to be attractive about people who are following him is that they um, that people are attracted to the fact that you're making that journey together, yeah. Yes. Um, so, so I think that was that was a very very poignant vision in a picture in my head, um, and also just a warning that um, you don't slash the panga around behind you and injure the people behind you. Um, that there's care, yeah, and yeah. that there's direction and strategy and a godly strategy about where the path's going and what what you're cutting out of the way that was the picture i had love so great picture mm. great picture mm. good words thank you mm. I like it. Mm. okay um have, have you written down a vision <laughs> um no but i need to do that um yeah, because um, I I think that you know knowing what success looks like, hmm. um, <laughs> and and there and and that brings with it all the organisational stuff that has to come in yeah. behind it, which generally speaking, people like yourselves struggle with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Can I just say? Um, to me, God is giving us another opportunity of doing what he wants done in that area, and that's going out into the marketplace and seeing people's lives change. We may not see them. We may not see them come to the Lord. We may not uh, see any huge, huge numbers of people become Christians, but if we can see their lives changed as they step into the awareness of God's love for them, then those are the people who'll follow. Um, uh, you've all heard that. Someone says, if you want to know who a leader is, look and see who's following. And I believe uh, with Angus, uh, particularly with the bonfires, the men's group, the tree planting, the things he's done, uh, the people love him and he is reflecting the love of God in the community. Yeah. Um, Bethel has a different vision as a church and that's one of prayer and that's very honourable and they are well respected in the community for that. 
but evangelism is not a priority, whereas for Angus it is. So to me, this is um, a handshake for him, if you like, that a well done, they are good and faithful servant and uh, keep on doing what you're doing. It's working. Thanks, Robin. Can I just, uh, Angus mentioned, or you mentioned that the actual management of the facility will be uh, from Melbourne, that they will actually be doing a fair amount of the actual management. I think you're, are you referring to the admin support yeah. that they're going to yeah, offer? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're yeah. 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 Um, yeah, um, I need, I should mention that. So see that, which is the group who want to fund little miracles love supporting outreaches and ministries oh. so they've got everything on template all your risk assessments and permission forms mm. and stuff like that and um so i'm just thrilled that they uh, are going to step up and help me with with um with compliance and mm. and, and funding and hr expertise yeah <laughs> i want to, I want to employ some people this year oh, yeah. and they go well just tell us that we'll give you the forms and we'll fill them in. We'll stick them on the payroll. And it's like, cool. <laughs> I mean, it's not as easy as that, but is that what you meant, Eric? Yeah, that's what I meant, yeah. yeah. So it takes that burden off you. Yeah. Yes. Michael, did you want to say something? This is my brother-in-law. Mike, I can't quite hear you, mate. Yes. Angus, look, I was just reflecting on something that lady, I think the lady from Scotland was saying. It's what in the name, I'm sorry. But... um. It, it, you know, they're talking about not hurting people behind you. I think also it's going to require you're going to be a lightning rod at the, at the front there, and you're going to need people to encourage you behind. Mm. You. Yeah, you, you're always got the encouragement because, quite frankly, if it, as someone sort of mentioned earlier, if you fall, stumble, get d discouraged, the the whole thing's going to fall apart a little bit, and I think you're going to require that um there, there'd be a lot of people behind you just sort of grabbing you and uh making sure you're still pushing on um uh, yeah as if they do get discouraged from time to time mm. yeah, that's your job mate great point great point <laughs> yeah that's your job as a team and i but the mm. reason i'm meeting you like this is because you can imagine there'll be a tax from the enemy there's also tax from people like particularly for christine mm. who's doing a Somebody said commercial outreach, which I thought was a very interesting term. Mm. And, um, Kingdom enterprise. A lot of people think if it's got to do with money and employment, it's got to be wrong. So mm. we're going to get a bucket load of um, resistance from different quarters. And and then there's also just the normal stresses of life. So, yeah, we are putting ourselves under a lot of pressure. But I think that's healthy. But we, we, we it can cause us to to stumble. So we do, mm. Michael, as you said, need need um, a family around us. And mm. um, that was the funny thing about being with the guys from Seba. They said, "Oh, we we want to mentor you." And it's like that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> he's he's written an amazing book. Got his book uh, that here. guide. Have you told him about that book? Yeah. I meant to, uh, and and I've that. read I've read that book. And these people at CVAT, they just want to see evangelism go ahead and see people come to the Lord. That's <laughs> that whole book is about that. And yeah. I just think fancy an organization like that, mm. just knowing yeah. that Angus was there. How did they <laughs> know he was there and well, approach they didn't. him? They didn't. The guy who came to visit was just fishing. He didn't know anything about little miracles. Oh, didn't he? he oh, didn't know I anything. Didn't... And so it was like oh. the Holy Spirit just guided him. It was very, very interesting. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, June, did you want to say something? Yeah, I did. Um, I think we have to keep in mind that when we start something new like this, and as important as this is, we're not going to have all the T's crossed and the no. eyes to start no. with. God mm. is God is a creative God and God is giving you guys the gifts, the abilities, and most of all the heart of love and passion. Yes. For yes. The and yes. I think it's going to be moving forward bit by bit, bit by mm. bit, and building the support structures in place 
around yeah. that. You know, you start with the one support structure and then you, you build something else. You're not yeah. going to have everything in place. In place, no, um, I agree. There will be mm. teething troubles. The other things will need to come into play, to come into place. And that's why I asked my question, Andrew, about uh, Angus, are the people you're loving, ministering to out on the street, are they coming back week by week? Because mm. if they are, then you are already doing yes. something Changing right. Yes, Changing And, life. you know, yes. just um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm. <laughs> you know, mm. doing what you're doing. Mm. Yes, mm. the other stuff has got to be worked through. But don't try and rush into all of that and be, before you know which step God wants you to take next. Next. And Sorry, what, I'm a bit passionate about this. And yes, what's, funny, yes. what's funny, Jude, is, um, and you guys will all freak out when you hear this, is I've just felt the Lord say to me over the last few weeks, just just have a break. Like, don't mm. start anything new. <laughs> and it's like, oh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I haven't done that for years. <laughs> and, and just ticking along, doing some boring things. We have got something set up for Easter, a lovely Easter outreach uh, at the park. But I just wanted to invite Winnie. Winnie, did you have anything to say? Right. It's the first time that I'm using a phone, <laughs> trying to maneuver. Can you hear me? Yes, mm. perfectly. Yeah. Um, I like with the others, I'm very excited about what the Lord is doing through the two, both of you. Uh, and I'm also very excited that you have actually got a very um, a good team. This team mm -hmm. that is standing with you, but not afraid to ask friend questions and check on you and but still there to support you. Uh, I think that's, that's accountability on your part. And that's yes. already a safety. You know, mm. where there's there's count there's safety in, in the council of many people. So that that's a great start. And I feel too that it is a divine appointment for CVET to come and contact you at this mm. time. Mm -hmm. At this mm. time when the harvest is so white and ripe, you know, the field is uh, white and harvest. And it's just this I felt it's a, really a divine appointment. Mm. Um I've got two things that I like to uh, caution you. Uh, which has been on my heart, and I've spoken to some young people about it too. And can you? Sorry. Um, one is stay humble. Mm. Uh, I've spoken to some young people, and I know that this is a time lots of young people are coming up, rising up, and they are growing in ex, uh, explanation a fast speed. You know, <laughs> but I told them, stay humble. Mm. Likewise for me too. We all have to remember that, stay humble. Secondly, beware of offense. Offense just divide. Offense mm. just blinds. Mm. Offense is an open door for the enemy to work. Mm. So be mindful, be very careful of this. Mm. Uh, you know, be aware of that. But I'm, I'm really excited. Um, and I, I've always seen you as an evangelist and I think that this is like a real release for you mm. to, to mm. step into that calling uh, and I'm not only an evangelist an entrepreneur too and I'm so excited to Christine with what the Lord is doing through your ministry mm. I think it's amazing mm. it's really amazing it's mm. again and you know uh, something which you're thinking outside the box which a church don't mm. usually think but you all are mm. thinking you all have ideas that comes outside the box of a mm. church mm. and that, that is so exciting so yeah. we are definitely behind you and praying for you all mm. Mm. amen well any last just, uh, sorry john yeah i'd just like to say that i've had a little bit to do with cvac for quite a long time long before bethel was at pariah and they've always been looking for outreach one of the things they really, really want to do. And I would be surprised if the fact that these guys came down to talk to you uh, was entirely coincidence, as it were. They would have been looking to see if there was mm. an opportunity there. Mm. And uh, so that's what they want to do. Mm. You know, they really mm. want, they, they want the church to reach out. 
Yes. And, yeah. There are a lot of things about church that are important. Prayer is important. Mm. Outreach is important. Nurturing and teaching is important. Mm. But unfortunately, we can uh, look at our little calling, as it were, and say, this is the right calling. Mm. Yours is different, so you must be wrong. Mm. <laughs> but, mm. Of course, that's not the way it is at all. Mm. We're there to <clears throat> support each other, build each other up, and to be the body of Christ between mm. us. Not mm. one of us has got all the gifts, all the abilities. And what's mm. more, we couldn't, even if we had them all, we couldn't uh, cope with them. Cope with them all. <laughs> the good <laughs> thing you're talking about yeah. having a break. Mm. That's a godly thing. Your body needs it, you need mm. it. So mm. don't be frightened of it. You know, mm -hmm. take the Sabbath break. Yeah. Mm. And John, that's Enjoy it. it. That's really good. Mm. Jane, have you got something you want to say? I have. I was just um, thinking about what you were saying, Christine, about what you wanted to do. It just rings all my bells. It's beautiful. Mm. Um, uh, you know, you, Angus, you said that people get leery about um, when there's money involved, and I can sort of mm. understand. I think I've seen that myself. But I was also just remembering, and I'm pretty sure it's in James, and you you Bible scholars, you'll be saying, yes, of course it is, Jane. But anyway, let's all just check exactly where it is, where he's what? so practical. I love him. I love looking forward to meeting James in heaven. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the about how if you see somebody who without has a cold and hasn't got a coat, um, you don't just say, Please. oh, well, hope you feel warm later or something like okay. that. You do something about it. Mm. So you seen women who are hampered by their circumstances from being able to not just earn any money mm. but have that type of purposeful activity in their lives mm. that they would feel better about themselves and their circumstance um, better about the fact that their English is not developed yes. um, you know it's a huge boon to your mental health as well just to be able to do yes. something purposeful yeah. and just reward of the five star pristine airbnb mm, mm, that's right and, mm. um, i've actually had a little experience of that myself when I, I retired as a professional and then i um needed to get more work so i went and worked a kebab shop for a while and then i worked doing holiday let cleaning and um the holiday lets cleaning's great because it all comes back to this nice shiny bright state right so mm. you do get that satisfaction from your job. It's not like a hard slog where you don't see any reward. Yep. So yep. you see that they need that mm. and you just say, oh, I'll be praying you get a job. You're actually going out there and providing and them. And giving them a job, yes. And mentoring them and supporting mm. them to yep. actually overcome the hurdles that they have. Mm. God bless you. That's brilliant. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. What are you Mm. Time, tell them to talk to me and I'll give them a hard time. <laughs> it's also a cultural thing. When I was talking to her, I said, have you ever had a holiday in an Australian home like Airbnb? And she goes, never. So just what, how clean is clean and have that five-star Airbnb clean, um, mm. polished things, not just water everywhere and that kind mm. of thing. And to just kind of, it's a cultural thing um, of it, our mm. expectation. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, thanks, Jane. Very encouraging. Mm. Looking to see where is it that God is working now and and mm. blessing that and working with that. Mm. Well, that's a beautiful place to just segue mm. into. Just wanted to pray together in a sec and finish up. But before we do, I just wanted to let you know where to from here in terms of a couple of things so i'd love it if you could stay with us as prayer partners we're not seeking financial support we're just seeking prayer support um and um if you have a friend who you reckon would enjoy getting a monthly email because what i'll continue to do is send out a monthly uh photograph blog post thing from my website which you get yeah everybody's getting that good i love doing it it's a good discipline and that'll come out at the end of every month. And and I'm gonna I'm going to add something to that now. Yeah, it's good. Realizing that this is this is instrumental. Mm. Yeah. So mm. 
I think part of Christine's recent success is your prayers because mm. I've asked you to pray for her about six mm. months ago and mm. it's all happened in the last four months or mm. five months mm. that she's just, everything wow. she touches turns to gold. It's incredible. Your voice is being rain. heard, Christine. Yeah. <laughs> your voice is being heard. Thank yes. you. So, yeah. so Christine, I'll, I'll send out an email and I'll have a little paragraph from Chris just with what's going on. Mm. Um so that'll be the same as what normally happens. So if you do have a friend who you think would like to join as a prayer partner, just um, maybe give them, a, they can send me an email or something. You can somehow hook us up. I'd really appreciate that. I just think it's a, a smart thing to get more prayers. And if you're too busy praying about lots of other things and whatever else, just be honest and just say sorry. Yeah. And we just yeah. really appreciate the support until now. Yeah. But um, maybe we can just have a bit of a pray now and um, and call it a day. Um, Does anybody else want to say something before we do go into that zone? Um, just God is amazing. Oh, we already know that. Mm. God is good. He asked, who shall I send? And guess who put their hands up? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the way yeah. he's moved everything to yeah. achieve his goal, to mm. get you guys where you're supposed to be, to have the, the, the support you've got, our God is awesomely amazing. Just mm. Amen. And what a great way to start. Yeah. And Lord, we just thank you for um, giving us the desires of our heart that mm. we can barely believe we're in this position now to have support to mm. run a Christian community centre or run all sorts of different outreach um, without feeling that we're weird or that <laughs> we're not quite right. But you've mm. actually mm. blessed it. We just praise you, Lord, for, for that miracle. And um, mm. as Kiri said, you've done all this work that we're the recipients of, Lord. And mm. we just say thank you, Lord, for mm. being like a master chess player, I suppose. And um, we mm. do pray that you'd gift us to be humble in this season and not take offence, but just to be uh, humble and faithful. Yeah, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that you've gifted um, Angus and Christine with um, personalities, Lord, and giftings that are complementary. And, yes, Lord, they come alongside each other and that what they offer to each other um, is, is lovely, Lord. And, mm. uh, Lord, we want to bless them. Uh, we want to pray for them, Father, and thank you for the gifts that you put down deep inside each one of them. And thank you, Lord, that they are, make, they are bringing out those gifts and saying, use me, Lord. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, Lord, we know that we don't give to you, but you give back to us multiple times more. Uh, and, Father, we just pray for them that your uh, gifts that you will, that will be pressed down and overflowing lord would be in their cups father that they would just know your blessings upon them as they give out lord so that lord that they will not get exhausted but but rather father that they will be filled more and more with your love lord god, lord god. thank you lord lord may you enable them to draw on the joy that you have placed within each one of them, Lord. Yes, Lord. That joy and the joy of knowing the truth that you are with them and that you, Lord, are ever, ever Father, that you have everything in hand. Lord, yes. may when, they, um, when they're feeling down, when their enemy attacks, Lord, mm -hmm. may they reply with the joy of saying, I am a child of the Most High God, Thank and you. he has called me to this place. Yes. And he has given me all that I need. Lord, may that joy abound within them, Lord, in every circumstance, in every weird way that you wanted to manifest, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, bless them, Lord. Bless the joy them. of the yes, Lord, Lord is their strength, Lord. Mm. Mm. Amen. 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 Mm. Mm. Father, we thank you for all that you have already done through Christine and Angus. We thank you for the hearts of love that you've given them. But we also thank you for their servant hearts, Lord. Mm. 
because it's no easy thing to go and do <coughs> what they are doing. Lord, we do ask you to bless them abundantly, that you would make the pathway clear to them, Lord, for whatever yes, Lord. they're supposed to be doing next. And that's in the, the ventures that they will do, but also in those nitty gritty things like paperwork, Lord, just mm. make the way for them and bring around them, Lord, those people that can take on some of those tasks that can yeah. just be so cumbersome, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. You, thank you, Lord. You really mm -hmm. ask, laid it on my heart to ask you to place a hedge of protection around yeah, them. Lord. About them. Because yes, where, where you are working, Lord, the enemy will try and pull down. Mm. So mm. I ask you to guard this precious couple in spirit, soul, and body, Lord, mm -hmm. and remind us daily to pray for their security, for their mm. safety, for the work of their hands, for the words are from their lips, Lord, yes, from the Jesus. thoughts that you place in their minds and spirits, Lord, that you would guard every aspect of what they're doing and guard their families also, Lord. Just guard them protect them and allow no work of the enemy to prosper where he will be trying to damage and pull Thank down. You. And you. Lord, just go before them in everything that they do. That's it, Lord. Just bless them, Lord. I mean, I mean. And as I've heard heard today the um the work that the leviathan spirit seeks to do in twisting words and twisting motives and pulling people down i pray angus and christine mm. that you will know that humility is the answer that humility and keeping close to god is the yes. answer for you as you, because you cannot fight Leviathan in your own strength. And people Amen. bandy words about, uh, Lord, and people seek to destroy and to twist and to kill. And we just pray for that garment of humility to rest upon each of you and the word of the Lord to be your strong tower, your defence, that you will daily clothe yourself with that helmet of hope with the sword of the spirit, with the, the belt of integrity, Lord, That's and the shield of faith, and to stand, having done all, stand, knowing that God is your protector, your defender, and your friend. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we pray for uh, Bethel, and uh, Lord, we pray that um, this would be an opportunity, Lord, where you uh, you will move in the hearts of those who have been praying for so long, Lord, that they will see this as an answer to their prayers. Mm -hmm. And Father, we pray that they will join together, and uh, and Father, that this will be a um, a firm foundation, a firm. Um, uh, encouragement to, uh, to the work that is to be done, Lord, mm -hmm. and that they will back each other up, Lord, mm -hmm. that there will be a sense of having each other's back. Mm -hmm. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I ask for those who have an old understanding of what you require. And they stand on that belief, Lord. And they stand and they stand, not being ready, Lord, to let go of things that you have asked them to release. Mm -hmm. But, Lord, that they would see and truly hear your voice of love speaking to them. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. That, Lord, they would hear you say, this come, is this is the way I want you walk. to walk. Yes, walk with walk me. Know my heart, my children. Know my thoughts. Know my mm -hmm. way. It is a time of a new thing. Yes, Make an offering of those things that you would hold dear to you and look, offer them to me and know that I would give back to you what I want you to hold fast to. Amen. Lord, we ask in Jesus' name that you would enable the people at Bethel who are holding to the past, Lord, mm -hmm. 
Mm. To make an offering to you of those mm. things that you called them to give to you. Yes, Lord. Amen. Um, bless them Amen. afresh. Lord. Bring them back to you with that mm. first love that says, yes, I trust my Abba Father. Yes, I say yes to Jesus and the move of the Holy mm. Spirit. That they would say, you rise up and say, yes, Lord, have your way in me. That's it. Be consulted, Lord, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Mm. Amen. 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 Father, I thank you Amen. for Angus and Christine. I thank you, Lord, for their servant heart. I thank you for their love for you and the love for people. Father, I just pray that as they start this new chapter in their life, that God, they go forward knowing that it is according to your timing, according to your release, according to your calling. That, Father, you will equip them. That, Father, that they do not go out on their own, but you are with them. Father, I just pray that wherever they go, you surround them with your angels, the whole host of angels. Protect them from the evil one. Father, I just pray that even as they preach and they share the word of God, Lord, that you will also, you will also uh, anoint them with your power. The Lord, yes. they move in the word of knowledge that, yes. Father, they will see people mm. set free. I pray, yes. Lord, that they would mm. lay hands on the sick and see healing, mm. miracles. Yes. But, Father, yes. that their hearts will always be humble. Father, that yes. you will remember to mm. be uh, living for the audience of one. Father, mm. that you will not be afraid of yes. what men say. But God, you will hear very clearly what you want them to do. Yes. That Father, yes. sometimes in launching forward in obedience to you, uh, we do not always face approval and support. Sometimes there's opposition, even from the family of God. But Lord, that they will stay humble. They will not allow offense to come into their life. Two is better than one. And I thank you that you have given them each other. I pray that they will be a good support together. And even in their own individual ministry, and even in a combined ministry, they will be a powerful couple used by you. So Father, strengthen them in their love for you and their love for one another. Protect them and watch over them in a marriage too. And Father, I ask that you continue to extend the 10 packs in their lives. You extend their territories. Yes. You give them favor, yes. Lord. You give them your wisdom, your discernment. But yes. at all times that they will always stay humble. Yes. So Father, we bless them in the coming yes. in and the going out. We yes. thank you, Lord, for them. And we commit ourselves, Lord, to pray for them, to yes. surround them and to support them and to yes. pray for them faithfully. Thank you, Lord, for them. Thank you, Lord, for their ministry. Thank you that you are using mm. them to reach people that we can't reach, that we, we're not mm -hmm. able to. But we thank you that they're willing to, to, to reach thank those you. people. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord, we would pray for a harvest. Mm. Lord, we know that the harvest is ripe and ready. But, Lord, we would pray as, as Christine and... Angus, go out into the harvest, Lord, and as each one of us do too, Lord, that we would see the uh, the deaf ears opened. We would see blind eyes opened. Lord, we would see people come to faith. We would see evil spirits departing, and we would see the dead rise. As you said, mm -hmm. Lord, you, promised, you said that we would do the same things that you, you did, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um and even greater. And, Lord, we pray that we would walk into those things. We pray particularly for Angus and Christine and for the team that they bring around them, Lord, mm. that they would walk in miracles. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Mm. And, Father, we pray for a church. We pray for those who will come alongside them and minister to them, Lord, mm. minister to them and, and grow the, each person in faith, Lord that that would happen, Father, that there would be a, there would be many Christians who would come alongside them and churches who would come alongside them, Father. Yes, yes. Thank Amen. you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Sure. Thank you, Father, for each person here and for the way they seek to serve you in blessing others in whatever you put before them. And thank you for them. And just bless each person here and grow them to be more like Jesus. 
Mm. It's your will for us. Thank you. And Father, we know that your word does not return to you empty and what you have started, you will continue until the end. Mm. And until that day, may that we also be able to say now unto you who is able mm. to keep that which we committed unto you until the end of that day. That's it. Amen. 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 I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so for me, tonight's been a very prophetic night. Mm. One of the two of the take homes is Lord, the Lord's heart to really not just blaze the trail, but to make sure that the followers are nurtured. Mm. I think that's mm-hmm. huge. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing is to make sure that I'm one with Bethel and that there's a true um, interdependence that you have as family through that. That's absolutely huge. Um, so, Lord, I just thank you for that, releasing that over at me tonight. And, Lord, we praise you for each person. We ask for you, you'd gift us to walk uh, nearly and dearly with you, Lord, uh, in the, the week ahead and... and um, yeah, help us to be close to you. Thanks, everyone, um, mm-hmm. so much. I'm so grateful. Mm-hmm. We're so grateful. And, yeah. yeah, we probably should say goodbye and wrap it up. And Yeah. Yeah. Bye. God bless. Okay. God bless. Bye. God bless. Nice to meet you, Jane. Yeah. <laughs> Jane. Lovely to meet all of you. Yeah. yeah. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.